Well, back in the day, talking 19, mid 1960s, a uh, lot with Delta in the first day was preparation. So you definitely want to be best groomed. And of course, the car had to be just so. Then, the event probably would be to take uh, the lady to a bowling alley and demonstrate your bowling skills. And then after that, of course, it was a mid-price pizzeria it would be the end of the evening to top it off. That would might be my ideal date. Um, ice skating and dinner. Yeah. And, wait, yeah, yeah. Probably like, probably like, no, I, ice skating and then like frozen yogurt. That would be good. Tell me what you want to Yum, 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 yum. Uh, what would be your perfect first date? Your ideal first date? Well, boys are grody. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Sweeping you off your feet. Oh, yeah? that's so nice. <laughs> Tell me why. Because <laughs> it's, that's what gentlemen do. And lots of chocolate, like lots and lots of chocolate. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> the perfect first date. Well, I'd have to say the perfect first date was the first date I went on with Lauren, it must have been perfect because we've been married for several years now. And that was, he took me bowling. And, you know, I can't, it's been a long time, I can't remember everything. Most likely out to dinner afterwards for probably pizza. I would guess at Petrello's, but I'm not sure. Clap your hands! Now wiggle your ears! It was in his very old 1950 Chevy that we rode in. It was green. And um, we must have had fun because that was the first of many dates in many years. We went to a fancy dinner and we ate steak and bacon and eggs. That would be a good meal. A new breakfast is landing at your local Northwest McDonald's. The new Steak and Egg Burrito. Wake to steak and start your day with a smile. I would go to Buca de Beppo. And that's it. <laughs> Pruma, pra um jantar numa cantina italiana, aqui em Orlando, no Buca de Beppo. É um lugar bem gostoso, bem animado, bem barulhento. Pode perceber que tem muito barulho, tem muita festa, com o clima da mama, da nona e tudo mais. Watching the sunset on a hill with a picnic. We're in the woods. Do you hear that? Where'd you hear about this? I mean, why, why wood? Did you hear that noise? Do you hear that? That was a bird. Sounds like we're in the Hunger Games. Not a bird. Yes, it is. It's a simulated bird. They're gonna come kill us. Um, one with Jesus. Jesus, sorry I'm late, work was crazy today. No, don't get up, it's okay. Uh, yeah, just got a little bit behind. People are being crazy, you know. That's no problem, Chuck, I'm just glad. Uh, I'm glad I made it too. My ideal first date, uh, I would want him to take me out onto a boat and pack like a picnic lunch and we would eat like 
with the moonlit behind us and it would just be really quiet and you could hear little crickets, cricket, cricket, just like that. <laughs> First, I would fly to Paris and then eat on the Eiffel Tower. And then I would go and I'd fly to China and then take a walk on the Great Wall of China. And then after that, I'd probably go to Cold Stone at um, Italy. And then eat a couple of croissants and then. I go to a fancy restaurant. Put it And then we go play in the park. I would like to get acai from Acai Cafe and go to the beach. You are the love of my life. I knew it right from the start. Mexican food and a nice walk on the beach. Girl, you can have these on your first date! <laughs> Woo. Woo! You guys meet? Greg, Janice? We sure did! <laughs> Great. We've got chemistry here. You feel it? I felt it. Alright, Janice. <laughs>